And we've got some breaking news into CBS Sports HQ, and that is that the Titans are planning to hire Brian Callahan as their new head coach. According to multiple reports, Callahan previously serving as the Bengals offensive coordinator since 2019, helping develop Joe Burrow into one of the game's top quarterbacks. He'll replace Mike Vrabel, who was fired earlier this month from Tennessee. We welcome in CBS Sports NFL insider Josina Anderson. Josina, a third coach, is now off the coaching carousel board. It is, um, it is Callahan going to the Titans. What do you make of that? It's not surprising uh, when I kind of surveyed the landscape of the vacancies that are out there in the National Football League. This is kind of where I had pegged uh, Brian Callahan to go. Lead sources had been talking about the Tennessee Titans leaning to want to go towards someone with an offensive background. Clearly, that's what Brian Callahan has, being the OC with uh, Cincinnati since 2019. And just looking at the success that that team has had uh, since he has been there, obviously also with their head coach as well and Zach Taylor. But his first year there, they were 2-14. and 14. It went to four wins, then 10 wins, 12 wins, and obviously nine wins. And in the previous two seasons, went to uh, the playoffs, obviously the Super Bowl, and then the conference championships uh, the year before that. So uh, he's had the fortune of working around Joe Burrow. That certainly would give people confidence if you're looking to kind of have that expertise around uh, whatever quarterback questions that you might have. And certainly the Tennessee Titans have questions around the quarterback position. Uh, they were going Going through uh, Ryan Tannehill and Will Levis, obviously the rookie there. Um, they have Malik Willis there as well. And league sources had been telling me prior to the conclusion of the season that there may have been uh, some not on the same page, um, you know, quote unquote conflicts when it comes to how to handle who should be under center uh, with some people saying this. I'm just repeating what I'm hearing, thinking that uh, Mike Vrabel, the former head coach of the Tennessee Titans, had preferred Ryan Tannehill be there and that Rand Carthon, the new general manager of the Titans, had preferred Will Levis. Um, I've also heard from league sources that uh, this people who are denying that in the building. But nonetheless, we do see the fact that Mike Vrabel is not there. Uh, so somehow, some way, uh, people did not end up on the same page as far as the future direction. But uh, it makes sense, you know, because I have pegged some of the heavier hitters with some of the other vacancies. Um, and then when you start to look at, okay, who are you going to tab who has that offensive prowess, that expertise, and you're surveying around the league as to who those candidates are. Uh, Brian Callahan is a name that was coming up to kind of follow in that uh, tier. Um, and uh, obviously, people are looking for people who are on certain coaching trees as well that give them confidence that they can handle that position. Brian Callahan, uh, 39 years of age, been around, coached a lot of big-named quarterbacks in his day, coaching in the NFL. Peyton Manning is a guy he worked with, Matthew Stafford on the Lions, Derek Carr with the Raiders, and of course, we mentioned Joe Burrow with the Bengals. Is Will Levis the guy? Is that what we're reading into this? in Tennessee or is that still up in the air? Well, again, it's another word I've kind of been bringing up uh, since I've been appearing on here this evening. Operative word is, is not just talent, but also is politics. And when you see that Will Levis has, uh, you know, been a part of, you know, being there with the uh, the new general manager there, that's something that is going to be, um, I would say, at least with the current front office regime, something that they're going to be vigilant over because you don't want to immediately say this guy is not going to work or not going to work, but it doesn't inhibit them from looking around at other options that also may give them insurance or insulate them from, you know, how he may end up being if given a further, you know, chance, which I, I expect him to get some sort of ad additional, you know, reps there, competition, be a part of whatever they're doing as far as the quarterback room. Will he be the starter? I don't necessarily see that right now. Does not mean he couldn't? Um, I would expect them to bring in, you know, other competition, um, you know, just to kind of make sure that they elevated that position because you see in the AFC South that the Houston Texans are not playing around. Other teams will continue to build. So you cannot stay status quo, not just in that division, but in the league period. So they're going to have to do something to elevate it. But I don't know if that necessarily equates to just completely cutting the umbilical cord on Will Levis just yet. All right, so the breaking news and that headline is that Brian, Cam Brian Callahan, pardon me, is going to be the next head coach of the Tennessee Titans. Of course, our NFL insider, Justina Anderson, is helping us read beyond the headlines. And Justina, <laughs> we appreciate that very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so one more name to the list on the head coaching carousel.
We got a third one. It's Brian Callahan, who will next be the head coach of the Tennessee Titans, last the offensive coordinator since 2019 of the Cincinnati Bengals. Of course, the Patriots and Raiders going in-house to fill their head coaching vacancies. And still five more teams out there without their sideline generals, Chargers, Falcons, Seahawks, Panthers, and Washington's football team.